So all the craters have a similar structure, the flyovers. Essentially, you um, change the camera camera uh, to a few uh, keyframes to to um, set the set the uh, points along your path that you're going to be flying through. Uh, in I'm going to be using this illustration of Gale Crater because it also demonstrates how to uh, include another object. In this case, we have a marker for the location of the Curiosity rover. So let's first look at the um, at what's in the layer manager. So under Mars, I created a reference frame called Curiosity Landing. And if I take a look at the properties of that and look at its position, this is this is the latitude and longitude on Mars of the of the lander of where it landed. Um, the uh, altitude is a little bit um, takes a little bit of trial and error. You know, set it to be a large number so it's uh, on the surface of the planet versus inside of it, and then. Uh, you can either bring it down here, or in this case, I would get it pretty close uh, with this number, but you can always um, additionally uh, um, change the translation of the of the model within the reference frame uh, to some extent, but it's better to get the reference frame pretty close to begin with. Um, then the model was an OBJ file um, that uh, Patrick McPike created for, for us, and so uh, in this file, uh, it has a yellow, a yellow um, color to it, and uh, what I did was I did a couple things. If, if I look at the at the um, timeline, uh, I have it come into come into play. It actually fades in. Um, and as I move by it, you can see it rotates. So I have a couple things that, that um, made that happen. First, um, I had I looked at the uh, at the marker, and I had the marker. Uh, I don't have it on the entire time. I have I have it uh, uh, at this point. It's op opacity zero, which means you don't see it, and then at this point. The opacity is one, and so you can see that it, I have it fade in as it's rotating, and then every ten seconds, um, I put a keyframe, um, and before the, I figured out that it was the role of the object that, that uh, was the um, uh, rotation around that axis, and so if I look at every one, this is 450 at one minute. And then I set at one minute ten seconds um, six hundred and thirty. So I'm, I'm rotating one hundred and eighty degrees or half a rotation every ten seconds. Um, and I tried a couple different choices, um, and then I just replicated that throughout the timeline to give a smooth rotation. Um, and then the other the other thing was it's pretty straightforward. Um, I put a fade to black, and this I almost, almost all slides have this it gives me. The ability both to hide uh, loading of data, so when you come up to a new crater, um, the data is not there yet, and so it's being loaded while you're not rendering anything. And then when you start rendering from half a second onto the next for the next second, it fade, that fade in kind of hides the um, the uh, data loading. And then I also have a fade out at the end. If you look, fade to black has a uh, my endings. I, I end for two seconds instead of one second. Um, I also fade out the marker a little bit before the fade out of the entire scene, uh, just for cinematic effect. Um, but, uh, but except for that, essentially I had a, a few keyframes for the camera. Um, I want, in this case, I wanted to go over Mount Sharp, which is the um, which is the object or this mound here. So I, I we actually uh, come up a little bit, a little higher and then go down closer to the rim um, on a descent path. Uh, and I changed all those in virtual reality. It's really important to see that in VR, and that was a little bit of a challenge. But when I, you adjust the, the keyframe, take off the goggles, you know, uh, hit the keyframe button, put the keyframe there, and then once the keyframe was where you wanted it, um, or, or had the properties you wanted, you could move it in time. That's actually quite much easier to do if you wanted to speed things up. You can stretch it out, or um, if you want, if you want to. Um, or slow things down, stretch it out. If you want to speed things up, you put the keyframes closer together. If the if the orientation and properties of the keyframes are correct, uh, 
Um, and that's essentially what we did for Meteor, um, uh, Moon. Uh, Mercury is a little bit different uh, just in that the camera path was a little bit uh, um, higher altitude, much higher altitude than the other, the other, um, the other crater flyovers, but essentially they're all variants of the same, the same process.